friends, welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. In today's video, we are going to be looking into my 2023 reading challenges. These are reading challenges that I literally did not tell you about at the beginning of the year. I set up a little reading journal moment. I abandoned it like halfway through the year. I think it was like in July I stopped using this but I really enjoyed using this for the first six months. I just really loved the way this turned out. This was my bookshelf, which I never finished filling in. And then I had this page, 2023 reading challenges. And I kind of stopped looking at this. I stopped filling this out, but I'm determined to like complete these before the end of the year, if I can. Um, and I think that if I look back on the books that I have read, I might be able to fulfill a lot of these challenges. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through each challenge and then we're gonna go through the books that I read this year and see if I can match any books to any of the challenges that I haven't completed yet. Does that make sense? Okay, so the buzzword reading challenge, which is created by Kayla from Books and Lala. I planned on doing that this year and I started off pretty strong. So the buzzword for January or the buzzwords for January was life and death. And I read Dead Dead Girls by Nakessa Afia. And then for February, it was verbs. And I read The World We Make by N.K. Jemisin. In March, the buzzword was secret. And I read The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana which I absolutely loved. And then in April, it was Emotions, and I read The Spite House by Johnny Compton, which is another one I really enjoyed. We have May through December to see if I could, well, I guess May through November, because we'll figure out December at the end of the month. For May, the buzzword was Flavors. So I'm gonna look through my Goodreads, the books that I read this year, and see if there's anything. Um, oh my goodness, and I don't think, oh! I read The Honeys by Ryan LaSala, and that was actually in April. The Honeys, honey is a flavor. Honey is a flavor, we're, we're gonna do it. May completed, The Honeys by Ryan LaSala. Didn't love the book, but it got me the prompt. My battery is flashing, let me change the battery. And we're back, okay, we've completed flavors okay and then the buzzword for June was other and I know I know that I've got this because I read other terrors did I read that this year <laughs> hold on yes I read other terrors an inclusive anthology did not like that anthology to tell you the truth there's other in the title so that works excellent okay moving into July for the buzzword reading challenge uh, July was weather words I know <gasps> I know, like right off the top of my head. Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. I reread that this year. Um, storm is a weather word, so that works. Yes, I am literally so happy about that. Okay, then we have August, which was body parts. Body parts, okay. Body parts, bone. <laughs> a couple titles with bone in the title. Um, hmm. Should I just use that, like bone? I don't know. Oh, I read The Hearts We Sold by Emily Lloyd-Jones. Heart, like, I, I feel like that's the only thing I'm gonna have. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with The Hearts We Sold. I feel like this prompt may have been looking for more of like hand or arm or something, uh, but heart it is. The buzzword for September was game words. I'm not sure like how to interpret that. Hi, editing Laura here. So when I was filming this video, I couldn't think of anything uh, that had game related words, game words. Um, upon further reflection, now that I can actually think not under pressure, I realized I could have used a gathering of shadows um, because Magic the Gathering is a game. I could have used starter villain because of the word start. Um, a few other ones as well. So this prompt is complete. Um, we'll go ahead and say, a Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab is what I used for this prompt. Okay, then for November, it was good, um, was the buzzword? Good, I'm sure I've read something with good in the title. I'm sure, I had to have. Let me, I don't know why I didn't just like search, <laughs> make this easier instead of looking through every single book. A House with Good Bones. I read that this year, The House with Good Bones. And it looks like that's the only one that I read 
this year. Thank you, T. Kingfisher. Oh, I skipped, wow, I skipped right over October and went to November. I don't know how I did that. The October buzzword <laughs> was magic words, um, which makes sense. So let's see, I'm sure there's something. Oh, I literally read A Taste of Magic in the month of November. So I could use that. The Fragile Threads of Power. Let me see if there's anything that I read specifically in October that I could use for this. The Nature of Witches could work. Witches, witches are magic. I'm just gonna use A Taste of Magic by JL, which I didn't love, I didn't love, but it works for the prompt. Okay, and then all we have is December, which is sound related words. I don't know if I have anything on my December TBR that can count for this, but let me see what I've read already. Okay. I don't really see any sound related words uh, for any of the books that I read this year. So I, that's something I'm gonna have to keep in mind this December to read before the end of the year. Hmm, okay. That's one that I'll have to keep in mind, but I don't have an answer for that yet. But that's okay because I still have time to complete it. Okay, so now moving into my alphabet reading challenge and this little graphic was created by read game repeat on instagram if you want to check them out i've never done an alphabet challenge before but i thought it would be like super easy because i read so many books that somehow throughout the year i'm going to accomplish all of it and i did except for x y and z which that's a lie i did do y <laughs> because I read Yellow Face this year and I forgot to write that in. Okay, so all that I have left for this challenge is X and Z. And I do have a book that starts with Z. One that I recently picked up, Zora Books Her Happily Ever After by Taj McCoy. It's a romance. I could throw this into the December TBR. It would be a nice, fun, quick romance to read. I am definitely in the romance mood. So that will complete Z, the only issue is X. And I've tried, like I did a little bit of research at the beginning of the year, cause I'm like, how am I gonna find a book that starts with X? I was looking at lists, like Goodreads has a list of books that start with X, Y, and Z. I didn't see anything. This is still an issue. And I don't know if I really have time to add yet another book to the December TBR. So let me know if you know of something in particular that starts with X, something that's quick and easy to get through that I could add in and complete this challenge. Cause it would be a shame to like get every letter of the alphabet except for one, which I mean, X is a bit of a challenge, but. Then the final reading challenge that I had going this year was the yearly Aurelium adventure reading challenge, which looked like this. Um, I just forgot about this to be honest, but this is kind of, you have choices you can make and at the end of it, you get to do uh, one of four things. Either you adopt a cute baby poof otter, you have a pet owl cat, you learn how to shape shift into a phoenix, or you can summit a spirit fox as a companion. Now, I really wanted to be able to shape shift into a phoenix because that just sounds awesome. So that was my plan. I filled out from January until August, which August was the readathon. I completed the readathon. So let's see if I can go on this path to shapeshift into a phoenix by what I read in each month. A Dark Academia book for September. Did I read Dark Academia in September? Oh my goodness, I did. I read Vita Nostra by Marina and Sergei Diachenko. I didn't love this. I think I've already unhauled it, um, so I don't have it to show you, but I did, I did read it. And that is Dark Academia, like solidly. <laughs> so I did that, yay. The next would have to be Decipher an Ancient Scroll, chapters that have titles. Hmm. I, I'm gonna have to like physically check all the books because I don't know which ones had titles and which ones didn't, but that was the prompt for October. Oh, do you know what? Let me go grab the book real quick, hold on. Surprisingly, I feel like this is not very common because this is a romance and this has chapter titles. See, chapter six, second chances, the proposal, all of the chapters have titles, that is awesome. That is, thank you, Ashley Poston. 
like thank you this is an amazing book by the way definitely give it a read that is so lucky that's so lucky okay so that was october the prompt for november a transformation spell read a mystery or a thriller honestly i read the sunlit man in november and i would say it's a fantasy but it has thrilling elements. Am I, am I stretching too much? Maybe I'm stretching too much, I don't know. In a pinch, we could say Sunlit Man, and if not, in October, I did read a thriller, so I'm gonna go ahead and say yes to that one. Oh, oh, okay. So the prompt for December, learning how to shapeshift into a phoenix, is you turn into a phoenix. Fire in the title. Fire in the title, that means adding another book to the TBR. I don't think I actually have anything with fire in the title. Let me check. I'm gonna check my book catalog. Catching Fire, City of Heavenly Fire, Air of Fire, Jade Fire Gold. Do I still have that book? I did not, you guys. I have Jade Fire Gold by June C. L. Tan. I don't know anything about this. I'm pretty sure it's YA. Do I add this to the TBR? Do, do I do it? I might do it. Just so I can complete this challenge and then have the ability to shapeshift into a phoenix. Doesn't that sound exciting? That sounds so exciting. So if I have time, I will read this. I will definitely read this. And then all I need is a book that starts with X and I will have completed every single one of my 2023 reading challenges. That would be absolutely awesome if I could do that, but we'll see if it happens. We'll see if it happens. <laughs> okay, so that was my 2023 reading challenges. I did pretty good. I did pretty good with them without like actually meaning to. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you set any reading challenges for yourself this year, if you followed along with any reading challenges, especially if you did the Aurelium Adventure yearly challenge let me know in the comments down below and let me know how they went and once again if you have any recommendations for a book that starts with the letter x let me know <laughs> if you don't have anything to say but still want to let me know you were here please leave me a christmasy or wintry emoji in the comments that's gonna be it for me today if you enjoyed this video and i hope you did please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing if you have not done so already and i will see you tomorrow bye